Hello and good day everyone! How are you today? I hope all of you are doing well at home. Okay, today I'm going to bring you for a house tour. So, this is me in front of my house. Welcome to my house. Now, let us find out what do I have in my house. Let's go! Okay kids, so here we are. Where are we now? So, this is my living room. This is my living room. Ruang tamu. What do I have in my living room? Now, let us see. There is a television on the TV stand. There is a coffee table on the mat. There are two sofas in front of the television. There are two picture frames on the wall. As you can see, there are many other things in my living room. What I mentioned just now is just the examples. Okay, now I want to highlight to you the use of there is a and there are. There is a is normally used to describe something that is only one. As you can see, there is only one television in my living room. There is one coffee table in my living room. Meanwhile, there are is used to describe objects that are more than one. As you can see in the picture, there are more than one sofas in my living room. And there are more than one picture frames on the wall. Okay? Now, let us see another place. Ta-da! Where are we now? What do we call this place? So, this is my kitchen. This is my kitchen. Inilah dapur saya. What do I have in my kitchen? There are some plates and glasses in the cabinet. There is an oven. There is a sink in front of the window. There is a table in front of the cabinet. There is a refrigerator. There is a clock on the wall. Okay, so there are many other things, but these are some of the examples of sentences that you can use to describe things in the kitchen. Okay, kids, now where do you think we are? So, this is my bedroom. This is my bedroom. Inilah bilik tidur saya. So pretty, right? So pinky and greeny, right? Okay, now let us see what do we have in my bedroom. There is a cupboard. There is a lamp on the table. There is a bed. There are two pillows on the bed. Okay? So, that's all what I have in my bedroom. Now, let's go to another place that I want to show you. Yeah! Where are we now? So, this is my bathroom. This is my bathroom. Inilah pilih air saya. Okay, so what do I have in my bathroom? There is a shower. There are two towels. There is a toilet. There is a bathtub behind the curtain. There is a bathman in front of the bathtub. 
Okay, once again, I want to explain to you about the use of there is a and there are. As I mentioned earlier, there is a is used to describe something that is only one. There is a hanya digunakan untuk menyatakan sesuatu objek yang hanya ada satu sahaja. While there are is used to talk about something that is more than one. There are digunakan untuk menyatakan sesuatu objek yang lebih daripada satu. Okay? Now, let's go to another slide. Alright, now I'll give you a further explanation on how to use there is a, there is an, and there are. There is a is used to talk about something that is only one. For example, a lamb, a fan, a bed, a cupboard. There is a kita gunakan untuk menyatakan sesuatu objek yang hanya ada satu sahaja. There is an is also used to describe something that is only one. But if the objects start with a e i o u, there is an juga digunakan untuk objek yang hanya ada satu. Tetapi sekiranya ejaan bagi objek tersebut bermula dengan huruf A, E, I, O, U. For example, an oven. Oven, ejaannya bermula dengan huruf O. An alarm clock. Alarm clock, ejaannya bermula dengan huruf A. That is why dia menggunakan there is an instead of there is a. Okay? Now, there are. There are is used to describe objects that are more than one. Untuk menyatakan tentang sesuatu objek yang lebih daripada satu. Maksudnya ada dua, ada tiga, ada empat, dan seterusnya. So, if there are more than one objects, you can use numbers. For example, two windows, two cushions, three towels. Okay, gunakan number kalau awak pasti berapa ada jumlah objek tersebut. But, if you are not sure how many objects are there, you can use the word some. Guna perkataan some. For example, some picture frames, some plates, some chairs, some cabinets, some books. One more thing. If the objects are more than one, kalau objek tu lebih daripada satu, selalunya di belakangnya mesti ada tambahan S. For example, windows, picture frames, cushions, plates, chairs, towels, cabinets, books. Nampak? Ada tambahan S di hujung perkataan. Tapi kalau awak tulis there is a atau there is an, tidak ada tambahan S sebab ianya hanya satu. Kalau banyak, baru tambah S. Okay? Okay, now it's time for your task. What you need to do is to create your own paper house. You can find the template of this paper house in your WhatsApp group later. And then, please follow all the steps mentioned in the picture. And don't forget to color all the pictures and write the sentences. 
okay? Once you are done, you can paste it in your single line book, take a photo of it and share it with me and your friends. Alright kids, all the best in completing your work for today. If you have any question, feel free to ask me, okay? See you in the next lesson. Bye. Assalamualaikum.